Hello gamers, I'm Mortuari and today we will be looking at a brand new game, a game called Guardians of Ember and uh, well I will be explaining a little bit about the game while we play it but first of all uh, let me say you it's a brand new game, it's still in early access. Uh, I got a key from the developers to check it out and uh, do some streaming, some gameplay footage. Uh, apparently it's a, a 3D MMORPG with hack and slash combat style and uh, well there are some quests, there are some classes, there is a dual class system, some random dungeons, some crafting and enchanting system, some housing systems, uh, engaging storyline, ver uh, very uh, much, well very much various types of PvP things, several mini games and a lot, a lot, a lot more. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I got a key from the game, for the game, and I can uh, now try to play it. Uh, I would compare it to, well, a mix between Diablo 2 or 3 or uh, 1 even, and uh, World of Warcraft, uh, let's say. Uh, well, it looks a little bit like um, the other games I have been playing, like for example, Black Desert Online and... Uh, the other one was uh, Riders of Icarus. I quite like those type of games. Uh, so we will be checking it out as we speak. And you can see I already created a new little tune here, uh, which I have deleted because I thought, yeah, let's delete it and start all over again and make some videos about it. So first of all, first things first, you log into the game and you have to select a server. I picked this one because I think it's an European one. Okay. And from here on, I can create a character. The first thing you need to do is uh, pick on a race. There are the dwarves, the elves, the humans, and then this uh, Nia. No idea. There is a little bit of story for uh, the little things as well. I think I will be picking a human to start with. Uh, these elves look nice too. A bit balance, order, the QCS, key role in the world from behind the curtain. No, however, the first we have. I don't think race matters all that much for as far as I have seen for now. So the gender. Oh, next gender LL. Let's pick a female for a change. Classes. I quite like the knight class. It's a balanced class that combines close combat and defense. I've uh, in other MMORPG games I have mostly been playing uh, the job of a paladin which is more of a support class a tank class and back in the days uh, of my dark age of camelot adventures well t more than 10, 10 years ago i started with uh, a paladin on the albion realm there in that game you had three realms and i started on the albion realm and played a paladin with, which was actually a, a tank support class so i think i will be going for the knight with this one too next up well some customization I've already checked a few things. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's not as detailed as, for example, uh, Black Desert Online, but you can do a few things. Let me pick a good looking face. Yeah, this is a good start. Customize the hair. I think I quite like this. Yep. This looks nice too. Nice. So, I'm back in game, return to game, I logged in, this is the primary interface, I uh, upped the uh, graphic settings a little bit, oh this is strange, I didn't have that earlier, marketplace, uh, so I think this will be, uh, well, this will be some form of uh, shop where you can buy things, I hope this won't turn into a pay to win game. Enhancements is probably too early. Guild too early. Achievements. Oh, some achievements in here. Nice. Um, a few other things. What do we have? Friends. Crafting. A world map. Oh, let's check how big this world is actually. Oh, this is the biggest. Yeah, okay. So we're now in the starting area. Yeah. We will see what happens. Uh, these are our skills. Some quests. Inventory. And a oh, character. You can assign you can assign attribute points in some things. Now it shows me that uh, prestige will give me some critical hits and some resistance modifiers. 
uh, energy damage. I will be doing more energy damage, I think. Physical damage. Attack speed. Oh. Mm. Let's pick one of these. One of these. And block. Since I think I will be playing with a, a shield. Sword mastery. Energy damage. Yeah, I do more energy damage. That's probably what, uh, what I have just done. Uh, another look at this. Professional skins. No idea yet what we'll be doing with that. Special outfits. Some titles. Currency. Uh, frozen Ember allows you to buy things in the store. Yeah, we'll, I think we will see that once we are done. And this is actually the PvP stuff. And not really a PvP guy, but apparently you can do some matches 3 versus 3, 5 versus 5. So that's nice. But let's let's just uh, start with the game. So basic movements, WASD as usual. Left click. While hovering the mouse over your enemy to use a standard attack. Hold down the shift key to... Well, it's a little bit the same like in many other games. So left click. If the, you have a target, you will be attacking it. And shift left click, you will just uh, perform an attack in that direction. These are the quests. Keep rushing forward, I think. Let me press the Q button. Oh, no, Q was something else. Oh, I thought Q was quests. Q and E are uh, the health potions. Nice. Uh, maybe it's G for journal then? Check why there are so many goblin troops. Goblin troops, okay. So, goblin troops are probably out here. Yeah, yesterday I already did this quest. Uh, I checked the goblin troops. And... Uh, come on, click it. Yeah, that's a good one. You can also break things, which is nice too. Some more goblins to kill. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, you have to keep pressing the, the mouse button, I think. I don't really... Mm. The problem is, you have to click on them. See? And if you click next to them, it will be not counting as an attack. I have completed the quest. That's nice. The first quest completed. And I reached a new level 2. So uh, I'm going to be killing these two. Six experience. Why? Because of, I, of finishing the quest, I think. Hey, CG! Well, I just got this uh, key for this brand new game called uh, Guardians of Ember, which is an, well, an MMORPG hack and slash type of game. And I'm just checking it out as we speak. I have two hints here. Yeah. You can now assign three attribute points in the character menu. I think I already did that. I can add three more. So let's pick some more blocking, some more resistance. Yeah, and a little bit of this one too. So this is done. The other one is you can upgrade your skills according to your favorite playstyle. Let's press the K key and we have some skills here. Hover over one point of the plus to get more information. So this is my basic attack, the cleave one. And I think these are other attacks I can pick. Gain more skills, drag and drop to the hotbar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, yeah. Once you have some more skills, you can drop them on the hotbar too. And this is just to improve your skills. These are the primary skills. Advanced skills. I don't really have that one yet. This is the secondary skill, which is uh, the attack you will be performing when you press the right click. Or the right mouse button click. Upgrading it. Increases hitch chance and health points modifier. Oh, this one here gives some health back or what? By holding down the mouse button, you will continue spinning in whichever direction you choose. While using this tool, you will ignore collision. This is my main attack. Restores 5 energy. Consumes 12 energy. Uh -huh. So I have some energy. This is probably... My health, this is probably my energy. So either every attack consumes some energy. And I can upgrade that with some more dodging and some more critical hit stuff. Hmm. Ah, I would love to get a mace.
damage value, aggro bonus. Well, let's see. You've learned a shattering blow. Let's put that on the hotbar. Oh, you can put it on the hotbar? I thought you could. Huh. Oh, you only have the basic attacks to your... Uh... So you have to choose between one of those three lines, apparently. Oh, nice. The primary skill is the left mouse button, the secondary skill and the advanced skill are the other ones. But I don't have any advanced skills any yet, I think. Passive skills. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have some more points. Damage and aggro. No more points, okay. So I have upgraded my skills and I did the attribute things, yes. So recapturing riot rage. The question is, can you set... Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah. Come help us beat those goblins. Well, I guess that's what I'm here for. Ah, controls are a little bit awkward. Hmm. I can hit stuff from a distance now, that's good. I have to work my way through these. Why is this one running away? For combo skills. No, no, no idea yet what the combo skills are. Press K to open the skills interface. Uh, this is strange. Look, it's, it shows me the C button up and down and it says press K to open the skill page. Okay. Got new skill point? Let's add some damage. Oh no, I don't have any skill points. Then why is it saying I have to press... Did I maybe get something? I thought I was going to die in here. Rescue the captured soldiers. Okay, I think I just got a new quest. That's the thing. Money? Oh yeah, you have money in here too. Okay, this is uh, very much hack and slashing. Free this guy. Quest completed hostage and... Yeah, okay. I completed the quest. That's the, the thing. Although there are still more... Thank you for an, for rescuing us. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's check this skill. Yeah, nice. Well lined. It's pretty much hack and slash for now, so... Not sure what I should think about the game yet. So I already freed everyone or what? This little house opened up, so I'm gonna check inside. What's that? Show some backbone, will you? Yeah, show some backbone. There are only goblins. Well, if you don't so show backbone, then I will take my uh, little female knight and go kick some butt. So you can destroy these, I think. Oh, not all of them. OK. 
Okay. No idea what those combo skills are for yet. Uh-oh. I think I'm in a bit of trouble. Kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrong bet, you fool. So, okay, this guy. Oh, crap, I'm dragging my window instead of clicking on the thing. Ooh, he's hitting pretty badly. Let me reposition that. I didn't reposition, I just... Oh, I'm messing around with things now. This isn't doing a thing, or what? Okay, I got it. That was easy. What's this? Clothing. Skull of Torn Portal. Yeah, let me reposition my screen a little bit because I've been dragging around stuff now. Instead of uh, making it go somewhere, I decided to click on something. I'm the hero! Yeah! The hero of Ryan Ridge. Thanks, that's all for now. Okay, this was just a starter area. Uh huh. Nothing else? Nothing I can click on? No. Uh, I did get some stuff, right? See? Professional skills, not that. An outfit, not that. Titles. I thought I got some gear. Where did it go? Oh, here in my bags. Oh, now I see. Currently I have the beginner's breastplate, uh, breastplate equipped. And I can exchange it for the dominator clothing, which is a lower armor. Hold control, click to keep. And this was it. This it. Uh, this is uh, yeah, a torn portal skill. Don't really need that for now. Ember items, special items. Oh, well, there is a lot. So I can keep that. Hold control to show details. No rune ability. Oh, I think this is probably for a, a ranger or something. Yeah, nothing I can do with it. Guess it's time to leave the novice area. The goblins are back! Everyone who can still move, get up and let's finish off our enemy! They think they can stop us. I'm pretty sure we can stop you. Just maybe not on my own yet, but I'm pretty sure we will be able to stop you at some point. So, Scott, what do you think of what you have seen so far? Rye Rage. Oh, no, I see other players. Ooh. That's nice. At least that gives you the impression, well, not only the impression, but uh, it shows you that this is really an online multiplayer thing. Okay, sure, the goblins are invaded, myth of the war, big pen. Oh my, so many things to do, but not enough hands to do them with. Maybe you can help me? How oh, can I help you? Peter is one of my best friends and he asked me to bring him some quality bait. But no, we're surrounded by those, uh, those things. L you look like you can handle yourself, so please head northwest and you'll see Peter fishing on the bridge. Take him the bait he asked for. So if I do that, I get some money, some XP. Eh, I'll accept it. A delivery to Peter and this one, Moira Danis. Hello, Bravon. I am Moira. Lady of the Dance family. 
I watched you save Ride Rage, and I must say, we all owe you our lives. If only Arya was here, I'd love for you to meet you. Huh? I'd love for her to meet you, but I don't know where she is, and I'm beginning to worry. The Danis family. Ah, yeah, lots of reading. Disputed plains. The crash button flats and the wrecked hills are yours. Yeah, okay, I have another question for you. What can you tell me about the Rye? Uh, anything else I should know? I have another question for you. You don't know where she is? No, no idea. She's beautiful, smart and extremely popular in the village, but she keeps getting herself in trouble. She's young and curious and those two things are like oil and water. I kept telling her to stay close to home, but she never listens to me. Well, because of her inability to listen, we insist she is always accompanied by the family guards, but even then, we all worry about her tremendously. If you see her, would you please tell her we're all terribly worried about her and that she needs to come home immediately? Of course, of course, I can do that. The bird of water connected to your family, yeah, and I'm not gonna be reading. Is there something I can help you with? Crashbone Flats area, some goblin butt kicking. Yeah, I can I can do that. So anything else here? Ooh, what's this? Oh, waypoint. Nice. And uh, let me check the village. So these are all other players. Level 13 already? Nice. Training. Ooh, this one has a horse already. Great, great, great. Uh, this one has get questions. The people of Pride Ridge owe you a great deal of gratitude. You have proven your courage against the Goblin troops and have breathed life into this area once more. Please remain over vigilant as the Goblin forces are sure to unite and attack against us. Yeah, okay. That's it. So I have some level 3 quests. Uh, maybe it's time to go check it. Oh, let me let me just try something. Go into the settings. What do I have? Display settings very high. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Texture quality. Mm, let's put that on high. Vertical center. Yeah, bloom on on. Highest shader quality. High lightning quality. High lightning distance. Uh, yeah. What selection quality low? We need high quality, don't we? Shadow detail, shadow distal quality of skin effects of... Yeah, I don't know. I would just press apply. No, 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 no. Escape. I don't want to restart right, no, right now. So. Ooh, rabbits. Oh, things are tougher here. I learned shockwave. Nice. Mm, maybe I should be putting something into blood. Have some physical damage. More blocks chance is always good. And then... Bravery. Yeah. Done. Skills? What's this? Achievements. First time hero. Okay, I got myself an achievement. Nice. Saving. Yeah, I got that one too. Save all uh, hot. Ah, I got all the hostages. That's why. Oh, this gives me something. Uh, finish fish flashing icon on the thing indicates that you have completed achievements in that thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Then I will get some more potions, I think. Yes, that's it. Nice, general. No more flashing icons. Okay. So, there is a map. I'm not there. Hmm. Oh, yeah, then I can teleport to that probably. Yeah, don't want to do that. So, I've seen that. Skills. I got another skill. What's... Shockwave. Sends out the shockwaves that deals 140% of damage to enemies in its path. Mm hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? Oh, this is to recover energy. Why not? I learned shockwave impact. Nice. Let's put it on the hotbar. And yeah, do I have some passive skills? Nothing yet. So there's something in my inventory too now. Common weapon crate. Okay, open that. What did I get? I got myself a, a fighter axe. Nice. This one? Oh, that's the bait. Fighter axe. Press shift button to compare with the target. Okay, I am comparing with control. Attack and healing. Yeah, why not? Hold control to right click to equip. Yeah, yeah, I get a better, a better weapon. So, some goblin kicking. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Fighter leggings, do I have to walk over that? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice skill. Ooh. Oh no, that's a... Uh, I thought I thought that was uh, another enemy. I'm just checking if there are some key combinations to see what's on the floor, but oh there it is, a kite shield. So I got myself a kite shield now or what? Oh yes. Sophisticated shield. I need level four for that. Nice. This shield, yeah, common shield. Uh, oh, that's because I'm wearing a two-handed uh, thing now, I think. An advanced weapons pack. Yeah, you see, that's a two-handed weapon, so I can't really use that in combination with my blocking thing. I'm gonna be switching back to this and pay attention that I don't get killed, of course, as always. There, help me. Uh, back to this. Let's check. Ah, uh, leave me alone, will you? I still think clicking on the on them is pretty pretty hard. Well, no, it's not hard, but once we are you are in the action, it might get tough. Okay, let me get into safety before I check all that. <clears throat> so, inventory. I need level 4 in order to be using that. I need level 4 in order to be using that. Now, this one. Normal item requires level 1. Untradeable. A gift box. No idea. Right click to use. I am right clicking. You are not allowed to use this. Okay. Why not? Oh, level 4. Okay, let's put it right here. Uh, I will be moving these out of the area. Now, I wonder what you can do with, uh, with the crafting. But maybe I should check that out at a later point. I think I should probably wrap up this first episode of uh, this game. Guardians of Ember. It's looking okay. I think it might be fun. I'll just have to play around with it a little bit more and see what I can do with it. So, uh, well, I hope you did enjoy this first uh, Guardians of Ember episode. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And that's also where you will find links to my social media channels, to the rest of the crazy folks and the creative misfits guys. And while you are there, Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. And that being said, it's time to wrap up this first Guardians of Ember episode. And I hope to see you again in the next one. So have fun and stay safe. Bye.